Today I'm practicing deafness in Chloe. Why do I do this to myself? All right, so for those of you who don't know, Daphnis and Chloe is pretty much the bane of all clarinetists on the orchestral audition circuit. It's pages and pages of notes that require a near ridiculous level of precision, technique, and finesse to perform. In the time frame you generally have to learn it while preparing for an audition, the basic strategy of starting slow and gradually playing it faster and faster and faster until you hit your goal tempo is ultimately bad practicing. But in this scenario, what is good practicing? What tools can we use to make sure we are making good use of our time and practicing efficiently? The answer is simple, practice rhythms. But what are practice rhythms and how do they work? Well, you've come to the right place because here at Parkhouse Creations, I'll be showing you how to use these rhythmic reimaginings to take your technique to the next level. But first, let's make sure we know what a practice rhythm is. Practice rhythms are the changing or restructuring of the rhythm from a difficult passage. They force your brain to think about the passage in different and oftentimes more difficult ways. This keeps you better engaged and helps to highlight technical issues where your fingers aren't lining up or moving quite right. But being serious for a minute, practice rhythms really are the magic bullet, the keys to the kingdom, to achieving excellent technique. Simply put, they just work. So using this one beat from the first page of the second suite of Daphnis and Chloe, I will show you some of my favorite practice rhythms and how I use them. Now, let's get started. We begin with the humble dotted eighth, sixteenth note rhythm. I like to play this one both forwards and backwards. Next, we simply flip the rhythm and play sixteenth dotted eighth. I also like to play this one backwards. The next two are also pretty standard. We start by playing 8th, 16th, 16th, and then flip the rhythm around and play 16th, 16th, 8th. These next two are very similar to the previous two, except instead of playing two sixteenth notes, we're now playing triplet sixteenth notes. And now it's time for my personal favorite, the waltz rhythms. These rhythms can be divided into three groups. The first being 8th, 8th, 16th, 16th. The second being 8th, 16th, 16th, 8th. And the third grouping being 16th, 16th, 8th, 8th. The final rhythms I'll talk about today are actually just a variation on the waltz rhythms, but instead of playing two sixteenth notes, now we're playing four thirty-second notes. And finally, here it is after all that practice. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you have any questions at all about any of the rhythms I covered, please feel free to ask down in the comment section below. There are a lot of rhythms out there, so this is by no means an all-encompassing list. However, if you weren't familiar with the concept before, hopefully these give you a good place to start. And what's awesome about these rhythms is that no matter what instrument or genre of music you play, these can be applied to pretty much any technical passage, helping you get the notes under your fingers more quickly and efficiently. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Happy practicing.